Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO of DBC Technology, and today we're gonna to put seven 18 terabyte hard drives into our UNVR Pro. So a while back we got our UNVR Pro and we threw in two four terabyte hard drives that we had just lying around. Now, two four terabyte hard drives in RAID 1 only gives us effectively one four terabyte hard drive. And that gives us about four days of recording with the 16 cameras that we're currently using. That's not enough for us. So today we're going to upgrade the unit. We're going to put in seven of these Western Digital 18 terabyte hard drives. I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to pick some up for yourself. But today we're going to put seven of these into the UNVR Pro. We're going to walk through that upgrade process and how long we're going to be able to get in recordings once we have all seven 18 terabyte hard drives in the unit. As you can see, I have the UNVR below the UNVR Pro. We have both units. It's a very similar process if you have the UNVR and you want to do the same thing for yourself. Let's get right into it and let's upgrade our UNVR Pro. So we're back. It's been a month, actually. I tried to let this cook for a little while, but you can see here, it's been a month, actually, to the date. Today is August 5th that I'm recording this, and we have estimated storage of 108 days, six hours, and zero minutes. So that's pretty incredible. So it's a third of a year, basically, off of the 108 terabytes of actual space that we have. 16 cameras, like I said before on this. I've got four or five more cameras over here. I've got the new AI camera. Uh, the 360 camera. I'm going to try and throw a few more cameras on here. I'll probably try a couple of different RAID configurations and just see if that does anything different. But for the most part, this probably is the way I would run it. I don't really have a ton of fault tolerance needs. So the amount of time that I'm going to be able to retain stuff is probably worth it to me. I don't know. This may be overkill for almost anybody to put this big of a drive in, but you know, putting in seven 10 terabyte drives or seven eight terabyte drives or even seven four terabyte drives may be a cost effective solution. You are able to use a bunch of different fault tolerance configurations. It's a really nice setup in this device. The quality is amazing. You can run 4K cameras and, and the upgrade process was amazing. If you're going to add additional drives later, you just throw them in. It really was seamless. So this is a really great device. I highly recommend it, especially if you want a ton of retention on one single device. Being able to go up to 108 terabytes here. Now, obviously, you know, drives will get bigger as they come along. You can get 20 terabyte drives now. You know, for 16 cameras to be able to record for four months and retain those. That's pretty impressive. Obviously, you could pull a couple of these devices and go even longer with more cameras, but you know, for a single device that will record for a super long time, it's really hard to not recommend this. It also has a ton of flexibility. You can use hot spares. You can set up different rate configurations. There's a lot of flexibility and obviously just a lot of storage capacity on this drive. I hope you found this video of some value. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions or comments or anything you want us to test in this device, please leave it in the comments down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.